Hey everybody, it's Mike with Rebound again. I am making a neck guard for a client and thought it'd be a great opportunity to show you the inside of it and show you how I built it and designed it, uh, why I made the choices I did, and uh, give you an opportunity to kind of check it out. So here it is, uh, a little about me. I am 5'8", short goalie, get hit in the collarbone and shoulders, uh, kind of neck area more often than I'd like because uh, I'm low when I go down on the butterfly. So I really wanted something that was more substantial. A lot of the neck guards out there now, especially from the big guys, are just made of cheaper materials. Um, a neck guard to me feels like it should be an extension of your chest guard, right? You should get the same amount of padding in your neck guard that you do in your chest guard. So I wanted to really beef it up and uh, I wanted to overbuild it, so to speak. So I did. So a little bit about the design process. Uh, this one goes farther down in your sternum to protect you down there. Uh, it goes higher up. It, I designed it so this just covers your, your clavicles without going over the top. So it gives you great protection inside the neck area of your chest protector. The bib itself is made of a couple different components. You've got the bottom here. This is just um, an eighth inch EVA foam, which has some HDPE plastic glued to it. It's pretty substantial plastic. It's not terribly thick, but it's thicker than you'll find in, uh, in you know, the neck guards from the bigger guys. Um, so that's adhered to the EVA here. And then on top of that, I've put some Shock Tech gel. Shock Tech is made in the USA. It is uh, probably not as good as D3O, but better than Poron. And they have studies to prove that. So it's a good choice for me. Um, and this sits right over the top of the plastic, and then there's nylon that goes over the top of this to make up the bib. So it's really substantial here. This is where you're going to get hit the most. So I thought it'd be best to have a lot of protection here. The neck, here's all the padding for the neck, and this can be built a couple different ways. Uh, for this client and for the one I built myself, it's got three pieces to it. It's got, again, this 1 8 inch EVA foam, which kind of sits against your neck for a little more comfort. There is a plastic piece that gets glued to that. So again, if you really take a shot to the, uh, if you take a shot to the neck, the plastic's really going to help. You'll be glad you had it. And then again, a quarter inch of uh, the shock tech on top of that. It makes for a three eighths inch um, piece of, of neck protection. In a lot of the all gel neck protection, you'll find um, it's three eighths, three eighths of an inch thick. So this is. Uh, just that thick and I think it's a little bit beefier too. You don't feel the plastic on your neck because it doesn't obviously it doesn't sit too high so it's only against kind of your chest and and your your neck never really feels it. So that gets put inside of just a, a sleeve here. Um, Velcro attachment. I even thought about the Velcro attachment. My, a buddy of mine, I originally had it on the other side. A buddy of mine said, well, if you're just a regular goalie and you're trying to adjust the Velcro, you'll want to take your blocker off to adjust it, not your catch glove. So I moved it over to this side so you can easily put it on and take it off if you need to adjust it during the game. So when it is finished, it looks like this. So again, substantial bib, great neck protection, the underside here and the neck are made of a headliner material. It's kind of like a car headliner material. It's super soft um, and it's kind of an open cell. So it does soak up moisture a little bit, but it dries really quickly. Um, I, I found that it's, it, you know, just like anything else out there will soak up moisture, but I thought it does a really good job of, of uh, just feeling nice against your skin. Um, and it works great. I've been using mine for two years, haven't had this rip or pill or anything. It's just really good stuff. Um, and there you go. Uh, as far as the protection goes, the neck is two inches at the front. And when you come around to the side, it's about like two and an eighth, maybe two and a quarter at the highest point. Um, I have made a couple different versions of the neck. I've made one with a, a, a dip in the front that comes down to a half inch height. So some guys might like that a little bit better. Most of them I've sold have been with a full two inch height. Um, and that's what I used to. I don't even, uh, I don't even notice it. It just kind of feels comfortable. So that's the neck guard. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Again, I've been using mine for a couple of years and 
just feels great. It's the most protective one I found out there, and I love it. So if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. You can give me a shout. Uh, the cost is $89 for the neck guard, and if you want embroidery like uh, this person did, embroidery is another $15. So um, there you go. Pretty happy with it. Hope you guys like it. Feel free to answer any questions or put them in the ask any questions or put anything in the comments. Thanks.